NASA released an actual recording of a black hole, or did they? In this video, we're going to listen to the true sound of a real black hole. NASA released this video containing the sound of a black hole. Super creepy and eerie. However, though, going down here, it says that the sound waves were extracted in radial directions, that is, outwards from the center. The signals were then resynthesized into the range of human hearing by scaling them upward by 57 and 58 octaves above their true pitch. Another way to put this is that they're being heard 144 quadrillion and 288 quadrillion times higher than the original frequency. So I was reading this being like, all right, so it's not the true sound of a black hole because it's 57 or 58 octaves higher, which is insane. But what if we could recreate it? What if we could use some music production and some audio engineering tricks to actually hear what it really sounds like? First off, I'm in a program called Ableton. This is used to make music. Here is the sample itself now. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Warp, put on Complex Pro, and keep formants at 100%. I want to make this video very beginners friendly. According to Wikipedia, the main definition is formants are distinctive frequency components of an acoustic signal produced by speech, musical instruments, etc, etc. So when it comes to formants, they're kind of like the original elements of that sample. And as I warp it or pitch it up and down, I can either try to keep those elements or not. Here is a really good example of this just to show you because it's important for this video. If I play this one sample, Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town. Now if I warp it, and to keep the formants on, let's say I pitch it down 12 semitones or one octave, it's gonna sound like this. Let me be, we wanna leave this town. So even though it's pitched down an octave, keeping the formants in tries to keep those original components of that sound intact as much as possible. I wanna stress my audio engineers out there, I'm oversimplifying this a lot. But if I turn the formants off now, you hear this. Let me be, wanna leave this town. So as you can imagine, when I turn the formants off, it's what it more truly sounds like being pitched down an octave. With the formants on, I try to keep those elements intact. As a quick side note, I want to say the main reason why I'm keeping the formants at 100% is as you can imagine, pitching it down 57 octaves, we would not be able to hear it. And this is the closest way for us to hear it because by keeping the formants intact, it allows us to hear those original elements even though it's being pitched down so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sample right here. I'm now gonna copy and paste it, and I'm gonna pitch it down with the formants on 48 semitones. That means we're pitching it down four octaves. That's the maximum Ableton would do. So now it sounds like this. So that's it pitched down four octaves. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna copy and paste this here. And I'm gonna use a cool little trick where I'm going to kind of consolidate the sample. So Ableton, as you can see down here, is now looking at it like just a normal sample without any warping. We're then gonna repeat this process. Complex Pro, keep it on, form it 100%, pitch it down 48 octaves again. Now this is down eight octaves. Now I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over again until we get to 57 octaves. Moments later. After repeating this entire process, as you can see, starting with the original sample, then lowering it 48 semitones or four octaves with 100% formats on, bouncing that out or consolidating it, and then repeating this process over and over again, we have the final one of the exact sample NASA has of the black hole lowered 50 seven octaves. I also put a limiter on because as you can see, this is super quiet after doing all this warping. So let's just play it. Sounds so cool. Remember that that is done in such a way to warp it so that even though we can't hear it in terms of the original sound, keeping the formants in allows us to hear it in the closest way possible. And then you compare that with the original, going all the way back here.
obviously vastly different. That is so cool to hear. So crazy.